Yeah. Okay, so I mean, sometimes the when we get a little post nasal drip, what's really interesting is that the, the phlegm can rest in certain parts of our range sometimes. And if uh -huh. you're singing legato, you can often get around it and get around. And some of those high notes are, are, are a little bit smoother, but uh, 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 then that can that can really kind of get the get the fun move. Now you might try with in a in a section of a song like this, and um, uh, this is approved. <laughs> I taught him to sing this. Um, I, anyway, um, and and I think you sing it way better than the guy on the YouTube video, and that's that's great. But I don't think you, I think you should be careful in this stuff. So lots of things I have to say about this. Um, don't imitate somebody else's sound. You probably heard that before. Um, use your own sound because it's better. Um, and uh, then the other thing you might try in a, in a section of music like this is singing that stuff more legato, because you're probably going to have, you know, electric guitars and things like that doing the big chords and doing the, the, the rhythm. Now, I'm not asking you to sing it arrhythmically, but um, what if it was da 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 What if it was just a little bit more legato rather than trying to really push each note? Mm -hmm. Um, that might get you around your phlegm a little bit, or it might still be there, but it might be a less violent way of yeah. pushing through it. Can we take up well, that section? The chorus? Sure. Yeah. Can we take the chorus part? Yeah. I can just get my Well, some more legato? Yeah, more legato. Okay. Yeah, you need to breathe. Um, because you have, yeah, you have a lot of 
tension, how you want to get the breath to get lower and lower and lower and lower. So you're supporting and yeah. connected. Um, I just need to break that habit of